All right, in this video, we're going to look at Dunthorpe, which is a little development on the furthest south side of Portland, just north of Lake Oswego. Arguably the most upscale, uh, high-end real estate that you can find in all of Portland. So uh, it's a small area, but one of the most beautiful for sure. We're gonna check it out. Stay tuned to learn more. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Paul Clem with the Home Team Brokers coming to you from Dunthorpe, Oregon today. So again, this is a small little development community uh, on the south side of Portland, arguably the highest volume of luxury, high-end real estate, probably the highest concentration of wealth. I mean, this is an area where you're looking at a median list price uh, right now for homes, $2.4 million. So uh, big homes, big lots, big properties, uh, really old, you know, cool architecture. So we're talking 75, 80, 80, 100 plus year old homes that have been incredibly meticulously maintained. That's probably one of the biggest appeals about Dunthorpe is the character, the charm that you see, you know, so the architecture, you have these big lots uh, and everything has just been so well cared for. So you really get that feeling driving around Dunthorpe. Uh, I think that Dunthorpe more than anywhere else in the Portland metro area, you know, just about every street that you go down, you're going to be seeing landscapers, contractors, you know, people working on houses, people, you know, just doing the regular upkeep and maintenance. Again, you know, this is an area where the pride of ownership is off the charts compared to anywhere else in Portland. All right, and before we go any further, if this is your first time to the channel or you've been here and you haven't already and you wanna get more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. And we've helped so many people relocate to Oregon, move to the Portland metro area. As real estate professionals, we'd love to help with that process. So if that's you, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or click that link down below in the description of the video and schedule a Zoom call with us. Either way, we would love to help with your move to Portland. I think Dunthorpe definitely has a reputation of being a place that is reserved for, you know, C-suite executives, professional athletes, you know, again, really uh, high earners, high income earners, high net worth individuals. Um, and, you know, driving around, that becomes pretty obvious. You know, you look at the cars, you look at the homes, uh, even the schools. I mean, you, you know, this is an area that has its own little school district, River, Riverdale School District, uh, which uh, are private schools unless you live in Dunthorpe. Thorpe, then you would be able to have your kids uh, in uh, the Riverdale schools. There's a K through eight grade school, uh, which is where I'm at here. And then there's a high school uh, just outside of the Dunthorpe limits into Southwest Portland onto Williger, just past uh, Lewis and Clark College. So Lewis and Clark College, uh, that is just on the north side of Dunthorpe, uh, which is, I mean, I think one of the top rated liberal arts colleges, uh, at least on the West Coast, maybe in the country, it's definitely uh, a really good school and an incredible, beautiful campus too. So if you live in Dunthorpe, you can get up to Lewis and Clark, you can walk around. Um, I mean, really cool old buildings. There's a public pool. I think it's been shut down for the last couple years, but it's a cool place to go swimming, go walk around. Definitely a highlight of Dunthorpe overall. You also have Tryon Creek State Park, uh, which is just on uh, kind of the north and east side of Dunthorpe as well. This is uh, one of the biggest parks in the Portland metro area. Uh, might be a little bigger than Forest Park even. Actually, Forest Park might be a bit bigger, but Tryon Creek is incredible. Uh, kind of flies under the radar a little bit. A lot of people um, in Lake Oswego would consider Tryon Creek to be in Lake Oswego. It's actually right in Portland, in Southwest Portland, on kind of the southernmost part of Portland, Tryon Creek. So you have access, you know, from Dunthorpe, in a lot of areas in Dunthorpe, you can walk to Tryon Creek and there are, 
you know, miles and miles of trails, really cool nature area. You're also really conveniently located here in Dunthorpe. So, you know, this is an area definitely with a little bit of a bubble around it. It's a small area. It's about 1.7 square miles. Um, so it's not all that big. There's about 1700 people that live here. So, you know, this area definitely punches above its weight uh, in terms of kind of what it offers. Um, the tax revenue in particular, you know, that's part of why, at least from what I understand, Dunthorpe is an unincorporated, unincorporated area in Multnomah County, uh, as opposed to being part of city limits is because of the concentration of wealth and the way that they, you know, the, the voting power that they would have and the way that they could sway things again in terms of the tax revenue and everything. So all that's pretty complicated and I don't know necessarily the ins and outs of that, but that would make a lot of sense when you look at Dunthorpe relative to everything that surrounds it. So you're just about 10 minutes south of downtown Portland on Highway 43. Uh, so it's McAdam from Portland down due south into Dunthorpe and then you get into Lake Oswego. Highway 43 goes all the way through West Lynn and down into Oregon City. So you have this corridor here in Clackamas County where you can get again from Portland you know, through Lake Oswego all the way to Oregon City pretty quickly, pretty conveniently. Now traffic can get pretty bad, pretty backed up on Highway 43. Um, so, you know, depending on where you're going, how far you're going and what time of day, it can be uh, definitely, uh, the traffic can definitely get a little bit backed up. But then uh, again, so if we're looking at the convenience of where you're located, you're also just a couple miles really connected to Lake Oswego. So Lake Oswego, you know, one of the most popular suburbs, a place that I think a lot of people moving to the Portland metro area, when they look at Lake Oswego, that's an area that they would like to live. Now it is one of the more expensive high-end areas, so a lot of people do get priced out in terms of what you can get for your dollar there. Um, now Dunthorpe is going to be more expensive, so <laughs> there's not necessarily a trade-off living in Dunthorpe and having that proximity to Lake Oswego, but for sure, a lot of people that live in Dunthorpe appreciate the proximity to Lake Oswego and downtown Lake Oswego. It definitely offers a different experience, a different feel, a different vibe overall than downtown Portland. So if you want to get into the city, of course, a lot of what Portland has to offer, you know, the five-star restaurants and, uh, you know, the, the breweries and, and the wine tasting rooms and the shopping and all that stuff, very convenient, but no, you know, you don't necessarily want to go into Portland all the time to get some of that entertainment, right? And downtown Lake Oswego is one of the best, probably, downtown areas when you look at suburbs across the Portland metro area, just in terms of what it, what it offers, the walkability, you're right on the lake, it's beautiful. Lake Oswego and Dunthorpe are right on the Willamette River, so most of Dunthorpe is up above highway 43 on the west side of highway 43 but there is a sliver of residential development right on the river on the east side of highway 43 where you can get some river views some riverfront homes incredible So again, you know, the homes in Dunthorpe really cannot be understated. The architecture, the size, the size of the lots, just beautiful homes. No one home looks alike. I mean, again, a lot of these homes are uh, decades, decades old, 80 years, 90 years, 100 years old, and they've just been kept in impeccable shape. Um, and again, that is a really big part of the appeal to Dunthorpe. I think the culture, the lifestyle probably, this area is going to attract like-minded individuals, I'm sure. And again, for better or worse, you know, I think a lot of that probably comes down to, you know, wealth, high income earners, things like that, because that is going to be you know, a prerequisite, you know, for even being able to buy something in Dunthorpe. So again, very high end luxury real estate, certainly an area associated with that, you know, probably more than anywhere in the Portland metro area. Again, Lake Oswego, very high end, a lot of the West Hills in Portland, which 
this really is still kind of the West Hills. You know, you're up on the hill above uh, the river. Uh, but a lot of when, you know, we talk about the West Hills is going to be right up above downtown Portland, but a very similar feel to that, but a little bit further away from the city, a little quieter, a little more laid back, and probably again, just a little more of a higher end feel here. As you can see, driving around here, you know, as you're seeing some footage of, uh, you know, from the car driving around looking at houses, Pretty much every house in Dunthorpe has these privacy hedges. So, you know, Dunthorpe, probably again more than anywhere else in Portland, is an area uh, that has just these privacy hedges in front of every home. And so, you know, we can try to get as as, as much of a glimpse as possible uh, and to check out some of these houses, but um, it is kind of hard. You can, it's a little easier when you're driving around in person. Um, and if you are thinking about making a trip to Portland, maybe to check out neighborhoods, check out areas that are interesting to you, you know, you want to see what might be a good fit, you know, where you could see yourself living. If you want to talk more about that, maybe plan your trip, put together an itinerary, maybe schedule, schedule some showings. Give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, click that link down below in the description of the video, schedule a Zoom call with us, and we can put together a game plan for you. And if this video was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That helps us out a lot. If you want to get more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel tap that little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. As always, we really appreciate you watching. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.